Welcome to Unisaur Surgery Center, your best choice for outpatient same-day surgery. And welcome to our instructional video series on tips and safety after surgery. Today, we will be walking you through using your crutches. First and foremost, preparing for surgery begins at home. It's important to remove any trip hazards from walkways such as rugs. You will also want to be sure that you are using a supportive shoe with your crutches because flip-flops and sandals can cause you to trip and fall. When you first receive your crutches, it is important to inspect them and make sure that they are in good working order with pads, grips, and bases all intact. Every crutch is adjustable to your height and arm length. The pads on the top should be about two to three fingers width from your armpit so as to avoid restricting blood flow. Adjust the conveniently marked base of the crutch for your height. With your arms straight down, the grip should come to your wrists. If they don't, detach the wing nut from the bolt holding the grip and adjust. Now it's time to walk. Take your time and be deliberate. Stand upright, don't lean forward. Be sure to place the crutches far enough apart as to provide generous room for your legs to swing through. There are two ways to walk, non-weight bearing and partial weight bearing. For non-weight bearing, the crutches are a substitute for your surgical leg. Plant your crutches first and swing your body through. Place no weight on your surgical leg. For partial weight bearing, plant your crutches and place a little bit of weight on your surgical leg using the crutches for balance. Take a step and bring your good leg through. The type of surgery you have will determine if you are to walk non-weight bearing or partial weight bearing and will be specified by your surgeon. Many patients will leave Unisource Surgery Center in a non-weight bearing status and eventually move up to partial weight bearing within just a few days, so it's important to know both ways of walking with your crutches. To safely sit down, with your back to the seat, touch your good leg to the chair. Hold your crutches on your surgical side. Extend your surgical leg outward and use your free hand to brace your weight on the armrest as you sit. When it's time to get up, move to the very edge of the seat. Hold your crutches on your surgical side and use your other hand to push off, using the crutches to keep your balance. Unisaur Surgery Center does offer a supplemental crash course for taking stairs on your crutches, but by and large, we urge you to avoid the use of stairs whenever possible. The risk factors for injury are simply too high. The elevator is your friend. We hope that you enjoyed these safety tips for using your crutches. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Unisaur Surgery Center. It would be a privilege to care for you or your loved one for an outpatient surgical procedure. To learn more about Unisaur Surgery Center, our physician partners, and the services they provide, please visit unisaurusurgery.com.